This video, we're going to go through using the I2C peripheral on the ESP32 C3 uh, to talk to an SX1509 GPIO expander. Okay, so we'll start by generating a new crate. Uh, we can name it SX1509, latest edition, ESP32 C3 in my case, no for dev containers, yes to STD support. Okay, so we'll go into the SX. 509 and okay first we'll update the ESP IDF sys to the latest version we'll also use ESP IDF hell version 0 0.40 we'll use ESP print line version 0 0.3.1 features ESP32C3 in my case. And we're also going to use the SX1509 crate version 0.2.0. So there's a nice Rust driver, no STD uh, driver uh, for the SX1509. So that's what we're going to use. Great. All right, so let's start building that now while we type out the Rust, this code. Um, all right, so first we're going to need to use a few crates. So ESP, IDF, L, we use I2C, of course, and peripherals, as well as prelude, and a delay from 3R toss. Also use the ESP print line, print line macro, and we'll use the SX1509 crate. Great. All right, in main, we'll start by getting the peripherals. I'll take that and then we'll unwrap it. Next, we'll get the I2C peripheral. Let's do I2C zero. And then we need to configure the SDA pin. For peripherals, not pins. So we'll make that GPIO 10. Make the SCL pin, peripherals, dot pins, GPIO 1. Next, we need to make a config. and give it a baud rate of 400 kilohertz. Okay. And now we'll make a mutable ITC driver. Pass in ITC peripheral, the SDA pin, SCL pin, reference to config. I'm gonna unwrap that. And now we'll make the expander. It's going to say let me have all expander for SX1509. A new, it takes a mutable reference to I2C. And then the address we're going to use is the default. Okay. And then expander. First thing we're going to do is we're going to reset it so it's in a known state. So we issue commands like this software reset, uh, unwrap, okay, and we'll do expander. Uh, we'll set the banks so bank A is pin 0 through 8, 0 through 7, sorry, and uh, I'm going to set those to inputs. So bank A, direction zero makes the entire bank inputs. And then we're going to use uh, pull ups on those. Um, well, FF makes all the pins have pull up on them. 
And then we need to make our outputs. C set bank B direction zero FF make some all pull ups. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna build this as we type out more. So now we come into our Now we come into our, our loop. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know them right now. Okay. We got our loop. We're going to get the pins um, that are currently pressed. So any buttons that are currently pressed, we'll get that data. And wrap it. And then we'll print it out. Okay. And then we'll set the outputs to be the same. as the inputs were. And then the data and unwrap that. And then we're going to delay for 100 microseconds. That's it. Okay, uh, what do we got? Uh, typo on line 23. Builds USB flash on USB target res debug SX. And now we can do ESP monitor. You can see bank A as I'm pressing buttons. I can see the GPIO is turn off, but you'll have to set it up on your own board. So, all right, so let's uh, use an I2C to talk to SX1509. Uh, leave any questions or comments below.